in today's video i'm gonna show you the ultimate guide for cs2 that help you to boost your fps fix stutters and low fps with your any pc or laptop in 2024 so make sure to stick with this video till the end and let's get straight into it Gala Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connections. So guys get the paid program free from the link in the description and play your game with lower ping. So guys in the very first step we are going to optimize our steam and cs2 using the command. So guys you need to go straight towards your steam now go for library and find out here your counter strike 2. So go for it. Now simply right click here and open up the property window. Now here inside the general tab you will find out here this launch option that use the advanced user may choose to enter modification to their launch option. Simply guys paste here this command that lot of people are using to boosting their fps, optimizing their network and reducing the input delay in cs2 once you follow this command in the cs2 and simply click on this close button so guys now the next step you need to open up your counter strike directory window so right click here open up properties of your cs2 again now go for install the file option and there you will find that size of installation click here on this browse option this will take you straight into your counter strike now open up this game folder go for bin win64 and here you will find that launcher file of your cs2 now simply right click here go for show more option open up property window Go for compatibility, check mark on disable full screen optimization, go for change high dpi and also check mark on the override high dpi scaling behavior. Now hit ok, hit apply, click ok and close out this window and also now you can close the steam from your pc. So guys now the next step we are going to try to fix the fps drops and stutters in cs2 using the ISLC that will help you to clearing the cache of your windows. So guys you can download this file from the link in the description once you download this file here you will find this folder that is ILC or intelligent standby list cleaner. So open up this folder inside you will find out this exe file so make sure to open up this exe file as the administrator so double tap here and open up this application as the administrator right once you open this application this will open up the software in your system tree so simply go for it and double tap and open up intelligent standby list on your pc so guys now here in the very first step you need to click on the stop button and stop this application and now you will be able to change here the settings so in the very first step for reducing the input delay you need to go for this one time resolution and simply guys type here 0.0005 after that click on the enable button and use global time resolution request also check mark on this box after that now go for ISLC polling rate ms click on the drop down and select out here 10,000 after that now go on your left side there you will find that your total system memory standby list free memory and number of time stand list was cleared now once you're done now you need to go for the step that is the the list size is at least you need to type here 1024 after that you need to go for free memory is lower than and type here 8192 whatever ram size you have make sure to use the same exact value now check mark on all these boxes after that now click on the start button and after every few times this will automatically run this program in your background and clean the cache of your computer for checking the working of the software right click on your taskbar and open up the task manager now go for this performance tab go for memory and there you will find out this cache in memory this will be reset it after every few times and, and help you to optimize your CS2 and your Windows performance. And now simply close out your task manager. Now in the next step, we are going to disable the power saving and power throttling settings on our PC. So guys, simply press Windows R together from your keyboard. You will find out here this window. Now simply type here gpedit.msc. Now go on this OK button. This window pop up on your screen. Go for computer configuration, administrative template. Go for system tab. Now scroll down and find out here this power management folder. Open up this folder inside you will find out this power throttling settings and energy saver settings. So first go for energy saver settings. There you will find out energy saver if you are using the laptop. So then these settings are very helpful for your PC. So simply double tap here. Now you need to go for this disable button. After that hit apply and click OK. Now go for percentage saver. Now double tap here. Again click on the disable button. Hit save and hit OK. This will guys use your lot of battery but on the other hand this will help you to get more performance out of your laptop in CS2. Now go back and now go for power throttling settings. Open up this folder. Go for turn off power throttling. Now make sure to enable the settings on your PC for turning off the power throttling. Hit apply. Click OK and close out this folder. Now in the final and the last step we are going to optimize 
customize the graphic settings of our windows so simply right click here on your windows desktop go for show more option and open up display settings now scroll all the way down there you will find out related settings and under there you will find out this graphic settings so open up this folder now you need to guys go for this browse option go for this pc open up your local dxc go for program file x86 Press S from your keyboard and find out here the Steam folder. Now scroll down and find out Steam Apps folder. Go for Common. There you will find our Counter Strike Global Offensive. Open up this folder. Go for Game, Bin, Win64, and here you will find out your exe file of CS2. Click on this Add button. Now scroll down. Go for it. Go for Option and set it on the highest performance of your Windows, of your CPU, and your GPU. After that, click on the Save button and close out this window. Now you need to one time reset your PC there for all the change take effect. After that, launch your CS2 and enjoy the best performance out of your any PC or laptop. I hope you love it. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and see you again in the next video.